my three best blind buys. Don't go anywhere. How's it going YouTube? I hope you're all doing well. My name's Grant. Welcome to 2 plus 2 equals fragrance. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you could like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. And turn on your notifications so you'll be made aware of any future content. You can also follow me over on Instagram at 2 plus 2 equals fragrance. So today we're going to be looking at my three best blind buys. And I'm going to make this a tag video. I'm going to tag a couple of good friends of mine. I'm going to tag Mark over at Aussie Fragrance. And I'm going to tag Michael at the Fragrance Wardrobe. They've both got fantastic channels. So if you've not checked them out already, make sure you do so. Blind buying fragrances can be a bit of a lottery. I don't do it that often to be fair. I'll always try and get a sample first. And I don't recommend blind buying to people. But sometimes if you can't get your hands on a sample, you just have to. But these are my three best blind buys that just turned out fantastic. Coming in at number three, we've got this one. Versace Pour On. Now, I'd heard a lot about this fragrance. A lot of people seem to think it smells like Chanel Allure on Sport. I think it smells sort of like a mix between Chanel Allure on Sport and another Versace fragrance, Versace Mano Fresh. If you put them two together, you're pretty close to getting this fragrance. It's a really good fragrance. So when I got this on a blind buy, I was very, very pleased when I smelt it. You've got notes of neroli, lemon, tonka bean and musk. And it's super versatile. You can wear it for any situation. You can wear it in any season. And it does smell really nice. It's fresh, clean and there's a little bit of sweetness when it dries down. So I was proper chuffed when I got this one on a blind buy. That one was... Versace pour on. Coming in at number two, we've got this one. Armani Diamonds Black Carrot. Now I've cheated a little bit with this one to be honest, but it's my video so I think I can get away with it. <laughs> my wife bought this for me and neither of us had smelt it. And this is like my third bottle I think of this fragrance. The first time she bought it me was quite a few years ago. I'm pretty sure this is my third bottle. And it was a Christmas present. And this smells fantastic. When we both smelt this fragrance, we were like, definitely a good blind buy. It didn't cost much either. It's half price a lot of the time where I live. And you've got notes of Szechuan pepper, bergamot, cacao, and benzoin. And in the cool weather, this is a really nice fragrance that not many people talk about. And I'll probably always have this one in my collection, to be honest, because like I say, you can get it half price a lot of the time. I think it's like £27. And for that price for 50 mil, I'll keep buying bottles of this fragrance. So that one was Armani Diamonds Black Carrot. So coming in at the number one spot, my best blind buy was this one. Bulgari Aqua Atlantique. I absolutely love this fragrance. I was so happy when it came and I got my nose on it. Some people say it smells like Sauvage. I like Sauvage, but in my opinion, this smells nothing like Sauvage. Other people had said it smelt like an aquatic Dylan Blue, which I think is a much more accurate description. This has got notes of lemon, apple, you've got some ambroxin, and you've got some C notes, many other notes as well, but that's just a few of them. And this fragrance is absolutely amazing in the hot weather. I got it just before last summer and through the summer it was definitely my most warm fragrance. And I've had it on the channel a few times before and I've shown the bottle to the camera a few times before. And you probably think that there's not much gone out of it. But if you turn it to the side. I'm not sure if you can see it, but that's where the juice is. Probably a third of a bottle gone. I wore this a lot last summer because it's an amazing fragrance and I can imagine I'll go for another third of a bottle this summer. So this one was my best blind buy, Bulgari Aqua Atlantique. So they were my three best blind buys. What are your three best blind buys? Make sure you let me know down in the comments. I love chatting to you guys. I'm hoping Michael and Mark can do this tag video. If you can't guys, it's no problem. And if there's any other reviewers out there who want to have a go at this tag video, feel free. I'd love to check your video out at some point. As always, thanks a lot everyone for taking the time out to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, keep smelling amazing.